differentiating implicit functions containing the products and quotients. In the previous videos, we have discussed about differentiating implicit functions. The implicit functions were in common functions, which can be differentiated directly. In this video, we're going to discuss the implicit functions containing products and quotients. The variables can appear in the forms of products or divisions. With that, the equations for the product and the division rules can be applied. Together with the equations for the implicit functions. Without further ado, let us try this example. You are asked to differentiate the function here, which appear in the form of the product. You have two functions here, and you know that the y is in the function of x as well. With that, you know this is an implicit function, and the two variables appear in the form of products. With that, you're going to adopt the product rule. Set u equals to 3x power 3, and y will be the remaining function. Differentiate the u and v with dx. That gives you du dx equals to 6x power 2, and dv dx equals to 2y dy dx. As the y is in the function of x, differentiating this, you will have to incorporate dy dx. Use the equations for the product rule. u dv dx plus v du dx. Solve the equation here, you will get this. You can simplify the equations into this by taking the common terms out of the bracket. Let us try this example. You are asked to differentiate these functions. These functions appear in the mode of divisions. Therefore, you may use the division rule to solve it. First, set u equals to 3x and v equals to 2x. Next, you need to differentiate the u and v over the x. To differentiate the u over the x, there is a function of y. Therefore, while you need to differentiate in it, remember to incorporate dy dx. Differentiations of this will give you du dx equals to 3 times dy dx. Differentiating v over dx, you obtain dv dx equals to 2. Use the formulas of division rule. Substitute the relevant value into the formula. v du dx u dv dx divided by v square. Rearrange the functions, you will get this. These functions can be further simplified by taking out the common terms of 3 divided by 2x squared. What is left behind, it will be within the functions here. Your final solution will be this. Let us try another example. Differentiate the function z with respect to y. Here you need to be careful with the differentiations to the y. From the examples that we have done previously, they are differentiated with respect to x. Now you want to differentiate in the y functions. From the equation here, you need to differentiate all the terms in dy. This will give you dz dy. To differentiate the second term, you need to differentiate in terms of x and then incorporate dx dy. 
so that the entire term is differentiated against dy. Same goes to here. However, based on the term here, it is a product relation. There are two variables here, which can be set as u equals to 3x and v equals to 3y. You want to differentiate with respect to y, that will give you du dy. And there is no y term here, so you will differentiate against x and then incorporate dx dy. Next, you differentiate cos 3y to dv dy. This gives you negative 3 sine 3y. As referred to the equations for common functions. Once you have obtained all this, use the product rule. You will obtain u dv dx plus v du dx. Reorganize the equations, you get this. With that, differentiating this term will give you this as calculated from the product rule here. And therefore, this is the final answer for these questions.